Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here. Welcome back to the Mill Career Mode. It's now Season 2, Episode 11. Now, in today's episode, our first game is going to be at home against Wigan. They're currently sitting 12th in the league table. While this could be an easy game, they got promoted from League 1, as we did. And they now have the ex Millwall player, Steve Morrison, who want to score some goals and come back with a vengeance. The second game of the episode is going to be away from home against Reading. They are currently sitting 6th in the league table, just in the playoffs that's also going to be a very difficult game in this episode and then the final game of the episode is up against an ex premier league team norwich they are currently sitting 10th in the league table we have to play them at home i'm hoping to come away with at least two points in this episode but i would preferably actually like to beat wigan just for the fact that they are a team that used to play in league one as we did so Let's go play against Wigan. I'm going to show you the team right now. Hopefully, it's good enough to go and get the win. Right, and this is the team that's going to be facing Wigan. In goal, we're going to go with Christian Welton. The left back is Mitch Hancock. The two centre backs are Tony Craig and the captain, Mark Beathers. The right back is going to be Cummins. The right midfielder is going to be Paris Cohen Hall, who has recently impressed me a lot, so he deserves to get a place in the team. The two centre midfielders are Jed Wallace and Gary Gardner. Carlos Askins is out on international duty, so it means Jed Wallace will fit in the team. Nicely, the left midfielder is then Shane Ferguson. The two strikers will be John Marquis and Lee Gregory. Alfie Pavey is on the bench, so we can bring him on if we need some goals. So, without further ado, let's get into the game against Wigan. Hopefully, just hopefully, we can get a win. Quiet it back here with Jed Wallace. He's going to play it to Paris Garden Hall. He's going to try and move in with the ball, and he's actually still going with it. Jed Wallace is blocked, and there we go. Lee Gregory puts the ball in the back of the net. What a strike there. And here we go, Paris Cohen Hall. He was twisting and turning away from the defence. He had his shot, it was blocked, and Lee Gregory puts it into an empty net. It's got to be the easiest goal Lee Gregory scored. And I've got to say, it's very, very lucky for him there. A very good goal. He probably thinks he's still in League One playing Wigan, but I'll take a goal nevertheless that it is a pretty good strike. He's still going with the ball nicely. Here's it's Hughes. Hughes is going to find Perkins. They're going very easily with the ball. They might actually get in behind here. That is a great pass to McNaughton. What a save. Can we clear it away? We just about managed to. And then that shot was way over the bar. We are very lucky there. Christian Welton is going to boot the ball up the pitch. Can Gary Gardner get his head to it? He actually can. And it almost got on to Gregory there. They managed to clear the ball up the pitch to Bugvarsson. He's going to play it in. Oh, and that's a very, very close call there. And the player should have really put that in the back of the net. Now with Reese James, he's going to play it back to Nicolas. Nicolas to McNaughton, and they're still passing it around. Oh, and this is a great interception by Ferguson. It's Shane Ferguson. He's had the shot. It hits the post, and we couldn't get the follow-up. Ferguson to John Marquis. Marquis to Ferguson. Ferguson, he's still going with the ball. What can Shane Ferguson do here? He's moving with the ball. That's a great shot, and it's gone in the back of the net. What a strike by Ferguson. I honestly didn't think that was going to go in the back of the net. What an amazing finish. He twisted past the defence and he put it bottom corner. That is a beautiful goal by Ferguson. He hasn't scored too many this season, but we are making his move permanent in January. And it's well worth it. He's a fantastic, flexible player. Oh, and Nicolas has come up for Wigan. This could be a great chance for Millwall to score. Can we get this ball away? We can. It's just gone over everyone's head. Andy Taylor to Hughes. We need to get this ball back. If we can, then we might be able to stop him from scoring. What a save by Walton there. And there you go. This game may have had a slight League One feeling to it for the fact that we both played in League One last season. Nevertheless, we did go on to win the game. Lee Gregory... Yes, you heard me right. Lee Gregory managed to put the ball in the back of the net. A great time for Gregory, no doubt. He does need a few more in the league. He has been struggling. And obviously, the other goal came from Ferguson, who, as I said, we are signing in January. I've kept the funds all season aside so we can actually make his move permanent like we did in real life. He's a fantastic player, and I can't wait to get him in the permanent members of my squad. So... Let's actually get into the game against Reading. We won this game. This will no doubt do us the world of good for moving up in the league table. So, let's go play Reading. Right, and this is the team that's going to be facing Reading. So, in goal, we're going to go with David Ford. 
The left back is Mitch Hancock. The two centre backs are Ethan Evans Landel and Mark Beavers, the captain. The right back is Cummins. The right midfielder is Paris Cohen Hall. I am going to keep him in here, but Gorgon probably will come off the bench. The two centre midfielders are Jed Wallace and Gary Gardner. As Coons is back from his international duties, but he won't be being put in the team for the fact that he is a little bit tired still. The left midfielder is going to be Shane Ferguson, and the two strikers are going to be Pavey and Lee Gregory. Gregory has just kept his space by scoring that goal against Wigan. So, without further ado, let's go play Reading, and hopefully we can get at least a point. We are now above Reading in the league table. Williams. Quinn. Back to Williams. We might get it back here, but Gunter's going with it. It's with Baselli. Baselli, that's a great shot, and it's hit the crossbar. How unlucky can you get? And what a punch away by David Ford. Williams. We've intercepted it here with Paris Kernhol. He's going to play it up the pitch for Lee Gregory. This is a great move. Lee Gregory with a shot. Oh, and their goalkeeper just saved it there. So unlucky there. Gregory deserved to score. Shane Ferguson is a great pass to Alfie Pavey. He wants to get in behind the defence and he is still moving with the ball nicely. Pavey is a great pass to Jed Wallace. Wallace is still going with the ball. That's a great save by Ali Al Habzi. And they've cleared it away, but it might go only as far as Cummins, who didn't get to the ball in the end. Ben Thompson. It's a great pass to Alexander Gorgon. Gorgon. To Berrienta. Berrienta is going to try and cut inside and he's still going with the ball. It's Berrienta. He just gets knocked off the ball. It's with Alfie Pavey. Pavey with a shot and it's gone in the back of the net. Alfie Pavey may have won the game for Millwall. The youngster has been full of goals and Berrienta should have had the chance to score there. He's very unlucky but Alfie Pavey picked it up like a pro. Blasted that ball in the back of the net. Finally will be Ali Al Habzi. He deserves to win a team of the season card just for this performance. He has been phenomenal. We can now clear the ball up the pitch. Hopefully, the very enter to get onto it, and he does. He gives it to Alfie Pavey. What can the youngster do with the ball? He's got very little fitness left, but he is still going strong. Alfie Pavey, still moving with the ball. Pavey with a shot. What a save. It's gone as far as Gary Gardner. Gardner with a shot, and that's straight at Ali Al Habzi. Well, we definitely dominated in this game. We are playing fantastically. Alfie Pavey got the goal. He was definitely the difference as he came in. And that was fantastic that he scored that goal. He is progressing really well as a player and he's possibly our top goal scorer. As I said, we clearly dominated. We're doing really well in the league. We've got two wins in this episode. I never would have expected that. So our final game of the episode is against Norwich, the ex-Premier League team. So this is going to be really interesting. So let's go play Norwich. Right, before we actually get into the game, you didn't actually see this, but Lee Gregory did get injured and have to come off. He'll be out for three weeks. That's unfortunate as he is starting to slowly but surely get his form back. So it's really unlucky for him. But with really bad news comes really good news. And well, if you look here, a player has returned from his injury. Fred Unyema has finally come back. That's not too bad. I mean, he will be on the bench for the game against Norwich. I will bring him on to see how he is progressing in terms of his fitness levels. Because he's a fantastic player and I actually really do like him in this game. So, without further ado, let's get into the team selection against Norwich. Right, so this is the team I've gone with to play Norwich. In goal, we're going to go with David Ford. I was tempted to put Christian Walton in the net, but I thought because we're playing an ex-Premier League team, it's a good idea to put David Ford in the net for this game, which means Christian Walton will probably feature in the next one. Mitch Hancocks is then the left back. The two centre backs are Ethan Ebanks Landel and the captain Mark Beavers. Cummins is then the right back. The right midfielder is going to continue to be Paris Cohen Hall, but if you bear with me, you'll find out why. Now, the two centre midfielders are Carlos Azkins and Gary Gardner. Gary Gardner has been fantastic recently. And then the left midfielder, Shane Ferguson, who's also been a very important factor to Mill's success recently. And the two strikers are Alfie Pavey who scored that important goal against Reading, and Alexander Gorgon. Yes, the right midfielder is going to play striker. I think there's about time we test him there. He should be useful. Without further ado, let's get into the game against Norwich. 
to Murphy again. That's a great interception by Cummins. He's going to play the ball up the pitch for Alfie Paley. He's going to find Alexander Gorgon. He's got a lot of space to get the shot off. Gorgon with a shot, and there you go. Millwall have put the ball in the back of the net. That's a great goal by Alexander Gorgon. I told you it would be about time to try him as a striker, and that's a great pass by Alfie Paley. He had too much space to miss that shot, and we are beating an ex-Premier League outfit. We've done really well in this episode if we do actually go on to win this. You know what I mean? We've won the last three games in this episode. Nathan Redmond is moving fantastically with this ball. He will put the cross in. Oh, and that header should have gone in, really. Gorgon. He's going to find Gary Gardner out wide, who's got to get past Sebastian Masson. Gary Gardner, he's still going with the ball. Gardner, he's going to have the shot. Oh, and it just goes wide. He's so unlucky there. Gary Gardner, I'm going to let him take the free kick. He does take it, and that's a great save. Can we turn it into the net? We can't. That is so unlucky. Right, before we end the episode, I'm very grateful for Alexander Gorgon scoring that goal. And, well... We have managed to win the last three games and kept a clean sheet in every single one. You don't understand how proud that makes me feel. Now, before I actually end it, as I said, I would show you the league table, but I'm not going to this week as I showed you it last time. Now, if you heard some sort of drilling or building or anything like that, I do apologise. This was the only time I could actually get to record this episode, but it is a pretty good episode. We won every single game, so... I'm not too fussed about that. Hopefully, you won't hear it too loud in the video, and we should all be fine with that. But, anyway, guys, we had a pretty good episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and, of course, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Millwall Career Mode. Hopefully, it'll be just as good as this one. Goodbye.